I'm just coming from being unemployed, broke, in debt, all this stuff, and making like $160,000, $170,000 in like a six, seven month period. And then all of a sudden I get this phone call saying that this entire thing could just go away. Um, but what I did in that moment set up the rest of my entire career, and I believe the rest of my entire life. What I did was... First week back out on the road selling in two weeks and it's something you gotta like honestly you gotta like <laughs> like pump yourself pump yourself up for um, when you're out of the field for a couple weeks it can be very uh, difficult at times to kind of get yourself back into that mode into that like full sales grind mode because um, what we do, I mean, it's it is a uh, it's highly transactional, fast-paced, and it's a lot of talking, a lot of presentations, a lot of sitting down one-on-one -on -one with people, a lot of answering the same questions over and over and over, and just, just a lot. Um, and it's, there's really no way to kind of prepare for that other than just to get back in it and get fully, fully, fully. So it is Monday night, 10.25 p.m. And had meetings throughout today, sold 20 life insurance policies uh, today. So good start to the week. Um, wanted to talk about a subject, a uh, situation that happened today. I kind of found myself in this kind of state of um, um, deja vu. Gosh, all right. So found myself in this kind of situation I felt like deja vu I was in this parking lot uh, about to go or just came out of this meeting and I could distinctly remember uh, a situation that happened in that exact parking lot at that exact location in that exact small tiny town in the middle of nowhere uh, in Georgia and just like all these like memories just came rushing in and I mentioned uh, part of it uh, to TJ and he's like hey we should talk about that tonight on the vlog and, and so what I wanted to kind of frame this this uh, discussion is on the topic of adversity. Uh, so there's three things, three things um, that I feel are most important in regards to adversity. So number one, adversity is imminent. Uh, the environment, the scenario will never be perfect. It will never be ideal. There will always be situations, obstacles uh, that will arise. And I think as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a salesperson, as just a human being, understanding that on the front end, that there will be obstacles, that there will be adversity, that there will be struggles, uh, will put you so far ahead of the competition because you're, you're almost prepared and waiting for it. And when it arises, you're like, oh yeah, of course this happened because I'm trying to do something significant. Of course there's obstacles, of course there's adversity. So number one, it's gonna happen. It's inevitable, it's imminent. Uh, number two, adversity is necessary. If you think about the process of growth, if you think about what it takes to become a better human being, to become a better business person, to become a better spouse, better father, better you name it, you have to go through some type of adversity in order to grow. And that's the purpose of it. Like that's the purpose of the pain in adversity is for you to grow into the person that's able to do the things on the other side of it. Uh, and until you do, you're stuck in the middle. And so adversity is a necessary part of any process. It's a part of life. It's a necessary part of you know, starting a business. It's the necessary uh, part of uh, growing a family, all these things. And lastly, and kind of will help me frame the story is, is adversity sometimes has a sense of humor. And that's kind of really the best way I can set up this story. And so, as a lot of you know, my story over the last three and a half years has been this massive transformation going from being unemployed to the you know, first 12 months uh, of this transformation making over 300 grand, the next 12 months over 450, next 12 months over 650. Uh, but it was in that first year where things had truly started to gain massive momentum. I think six months in, I had probably already made like 100 and 
60, 170 thousand dollars, six, seven months into uh, this new career that I had, and if you can imagine going from being unemployed to a six month period of bringing in 160, 170 thousand dollars take home, a lot of things change. A lot of things going through your mind. Just this massive growth period. I got a phone call sitting in the exact parking space in the exact parking lot that we were in today from the South Carolina Department of Insurance, sorry, the Georgia Department of Insurance. And they basically said there was a part of our process, a part of our distribution process that they needed to look into and evaluate whether it was uh, violating a certain rule that they had. It was just kind of one of those like, uh, fine print type of things that it may fall under, may not. But basically said that it's possible that like what I was doing could no longer exist. The opportunity for me could no longer exist. But they said I could continue doing what I'm doing um, as they went under this, uh, as they started this investigation. And so we got the you know, executive uh, staff of our company, our, our company's partners, um, and there were a lot of meetings that took place. And all of this happened kind of behind the scenes. And what I had to do, <laughs> number one, was laugh and, and kind of get into that sense of humor. Like, I'm just coming from being unemployed, broke, in debt, all this stuff, and making like $160,000, $170,000 in like a six, seven month period. And then all of a sudden I get this phone call saying that this entire thing could just go away. Um, but what I did in that moment set up the rest of my entire career and I believe the rest of my entire life. What I did was I thought about it. I got a little worried. I got a little nervous for about five minutes. And then I went right back to work. I actually walked into a meeting when I got off the phone call, sat there for five minutes, walked into a meeting and sold a bunch of life insurance. Over the next five or six months, I sold 1,500 more life insurance policies to end up that year, making over 300,000 in income. That entire time, I did not hear one word as to any type of resolution, like what was going on, uh, what, were things looking good, was it a positive, negative outlook on, on the ultimate resolution of this situation. And that continued for another six months after that. I didn't hear anything for a year. And finally found out that they had to change some wording on some of the things that were happening, but everything was ultimately gonna be fine. Over that year, of me not knowing if the opportunity, the career that I was absolutely going all in on was even going to exist, the next second I could get a phone call and say it's over. Over that year, I sold probably 25, 2600 life insurance policies, all while not knowing if the next day I would be able to continue doing it. Um, that led to conversations down the road and ultimately becoming part owner of the company I then was working for. It was one of their main reasons because they had never seen someone get that type of news and that type of environment and just continue like they didn't even hear it, continue like it didn't even matter and just focus on what they could control, what I could control which was my actions, my activity while we were waiting, while we were in limbo. So again, adversity is imminent. It's going to happen. And if you can expect it on the front end, then you can get through it on the back end quicker. Adversity is necessary. And that process that I went through was necessary for the growth I needed to become ultimately now a part owner in the company that I was then working for. And then again, to conclude, <laughs> sometimes adversity has a sense of humor. Like right when things are turning around, I get a phone call like, oh wait, maybe it's all gonna be taken away. Really? Really? So that's it guys. I hope you learned a little bit of a lesson from that. Um, sold another 20 life insurance policies today, excited to get up tomorrow morning and do it all over again.